world's 100 meters champion Usain Bolt runs fast but the price of goods in Nigeria may be moving faster and this is because earlier this week the National Bureau of Statistics released the latest trends about the price of goods across Nigeria the summary of this report is that the price of goods in Nigeria is volatile Babajide Ogunsanwo founder of Leadership by Data and Channels Television's data analyst is here to share more light on this matter Hello, Abajdi. It's good to have you on News good evening, at 10. Now. Good evening. It's not exciting news at all for many Nigerians. And according to the National Bureau of Statistics, as I stated there, the average price of goods has already increased by 29.9%. This is when you compare it to what it was in January 2023. I mean, is this a surprise? It depends on how you want to look at it. And um, yes, it is a surprise on one hand. And it, there are other things that don't surprise me. Um, but let's look at it from our outlook. When we're here, first week of, of um, January, and we looked at the outlook, the inflation outlook for 2024, and if we take a look at what we had discussed some weeks back, it is consistent with the numbers that the Bureau of Statistics is reporting. And if we take a look at that, to look at what were our estimates, we had um, looked at it that um, we looked at previous years. We remember last year, 2023, inflation was 22%. So the estimate for January this year was 29%. The National Bureau of Statistics has come out to say it is now 29.9% on the border of 30%. That is in line with what our estimates were. We also estimate that towards the middle of the year, inflation will still be above 20%, which is what we said as a June estimate is that inflation will still be above 20%. And perhaps the best case scenario will be towards the end of the year when inflation we expect should be sub 20%. However, it will be very unlikely for inflation to be below 18% towards the end of the year. So the report, yes, it is sad news. It is in line with our estimates. Um, however, there's some other thing that now surprises me, even though this report doesn't surprise me. And, and listen carefully to this. We had a situation based on these numbers that if you take your money and, and you lend it or you borrow the government and the government borrows it, you will lose money because there's no government returns, coupons or yields that you will get up to 30%. You heard me right. So you give the government your money, you lose. If you give the banks your money and you lose, there's no savings rate, there's no interest on savings in any bank that will give you 30%. So I repeat, you give the government your money, you lose. You give the banks your money, you lose. You keep your money at home. Inflation shows that even if you keep your money under the bed, you lose. So what Nigerians are doing now is they take their money to the market to quickly buy. But they've realized that the price of goods yesterday and today has changed. So in all scenarios, you lose. So what Nigerians are discussing now is which of these losses are you willing to take? Mm. And that is the sad situation where we find ourselves. You take the money to the, to the government, you lose. You take it to the bank, you lose. You keep it at home, you lose. You take it to the market, you lose. In all scenarios with the Naira, we are now facing losses. But Babajide, there's a difference between having numbers and checking if those numbers are really what it is right now. Because some Nigerians have complained that they do not agree with the numbers that the statistics office is showing compared to what the market price or prices of goods and services at the moment are these statistics reflecting the current situation for a normal Nigerian? I mean, every Nigerian. So you're right. Um, for a lot of Nigerians, the price of goods, depending on what they are buying, has moved significantly more than 30%. For some, it's 50%. For some, depending on what you're buying, is as much as 70%. Diesel prices, prices of imported goods, prices of um, rice. So it depends on what you're buying. What the National Bureau of Statistics is trying to do is to look at a national average, looking at not just Lagos or the southwest or urban or rural areas, trying to look at a national average of basket of goods and comparing those prices to what it was last month and to what it was last day. However, and despite the effort of the National Bureau of Statistics, we still have issues on the quality of goods in that basket of goods by the National Bureau of Statistics. One major issue Nigerians are having right now is food because that is where most Nigerians spend their money. 
And if we take a critical look, and if we take a very critical look into the report of the NBS, it allows us to see 10 states where the prices of foods are skyrocketing. Look at what's in front of you. These are the top 10 states where families are feeling the pain on prices of food. Eight of these top 10 states are in southern Nigeria. Kogikwara, northern Nigeria, food inflation above 40%. In rivers, food inflation, this time last year compared to what it is today, more than 40%. Same thing, Akwaibom, Imo, Osho, Ekiti, Ondu, Abia, all these states. The survey shows that prices on an average basket of food has changed by more than 40%. So the challenge is, Everybody's feeling the pain, but there are some families living in some states that are feeling the pain more than others. Anne. But how much influence will these inflation statistics give about the performance of the government? You know, public perception is important. And to, to put this in context, we need to look at how important and how significant this 30% number is. And if we look, take a look at what inflation has been at the beginning of the year since Nigeria started this fourth republic, I'm talking about taking a look at the inflation numbers released by the National Bureau of Statistics every, every period, January 20, 2000, and 2000, January 2001 till date. And the report shows that this January inflation numbers, hear me correctly, this January's inflation numbers are the worst Nigeria has had since return to democracy in 1999. You heard me right. These inflation numbers are the worst numbers we've had since our return to democracy. And that fact will be giving the president sleepless nights. Looking at what it means compared to what other presidents have achieved, looking at what it is compared to what it was since 1999 allows us to see that the situation is bad, and the president needs to understand that the solutions are both within the monetary policy context, the physical policy context. In summary, Nigeria has to be more productive and we need to get our acts right. If we were to um, put this on, and I'd like to look at it from, you know, it's, it's over three and a half centuries that the um, thermometer was, was invented by the Grand Duke of, um, I think that's Tuscany. And I have this for you here. Um, let me just bring it up. Okay. You see, this ordinarily is used to measure temperature. the temperature. Yeah. But today, you can imagine if we put this into the bank balance of the average Nigerian man, do you know what sort of reading you'll get? What I mean, Anne, is that Based on today's inflation numbers, the bank balance of the average Nigerian man, if we check the reading, is on life support. You know, four years ago, I talked about the challenges of inflation and how difficult it means for Nigerians to survive. The summary is still that today in Nigeria, it is getting easier to die than to live. And wow. Okay, I'm sure that the moment I will be showing red on so many people's. Um... But I don't know what it will be showing on your own bank balance. And but for a lot of Nigerians, the common man, this thermometer is mm. showing that the bank balance of the average Nigerian is really on, on life support. And clearly, right. the government has to look at the numbers, has Definitely. to keep um, its eyes on how the trends can come down. And to, to put this in another perspective, just mm. as you quickly round up, Nigeria's inflation numbers, 30 percent in a year is what takes the United States sometimes 15 years to get to. So what Nigeria's, the rate at which prices have changed in Nigeria within 12 months is the same rate that will take the United States and similar developed nations 15 years to get to. So in simple terms, that is the reason why I talk about you give the government your money, you lose. You take your money to the bank, you lose. You keep the money at home and you lose. And if you now take the money to the market and finally 
You lose. You lose. All right. Thank you very much. Babajide Ogunso, founder of Leadership by Data and Channels Television's Data Analyst, for your exciting uh, contribution, as always, on the News at 10. And the pleasure is all mine.